Hi, my name is Shaman Lamaran. I come from Lanyu, Pongsun, Otawo. Uh, I'm going to introduce our traditional boat. Uh, behind me is called Jinet Garan, Tian people, Tian men boat. The Tatala represents the accumulation of wisdom passed down from the people forefathers. Every year after the flying feast ceremony, people start the process of building our boats. Usually it takes the combined power of a clan to chop down and appropriate trees in the mountains. After the stripping of cutting the log into a shed, the clan combines its strength to drag the rough shape of the keel and desk back to the village where more of the construction process and reaching takes place in the workshop. Differences in the construction and shape of Tatala boat mainly come down to the construction of the keel. There is a V-shaped hollow boat and a liner single line shaped plain wooden boat. The boat can also be distinguished by their size into the smaller Tatala boat and the larger, larger boat called the uh, Jinnit Garan. The, the boat accessories, oars, this is the oars. Uh, it is called the oars lux. The material used to make the oars different depending on the age of the rower. Young men will select oars made with materials of heavy texture as the type of the wood select is important in improving the speed of the boat. Slightly of older people, the log experience was the fishers. The function of the old logs is to uh, support the oars. So slowing growing shirt with the top texture that grow in windy region are used. The flying fish ceremony in March every year is the season when the Tao people show off our heroism and courage at sea around Lai Yu Island. For the Tao people, for whom the flying fish is the uh, principal source of animal protein, the Tatala pole is an essential tool of production for every family or clan. The Dawu Tatala represent the accumulation of wisdom passed down from the people for fathers. So every year after the flying fish uh, the ceremony people start the uh, process of building the court. Dao people use nature material to paint our boat. The white is coming from the edge of the gold, gold, gold and the uh, seashore. The black color is coming from the edge of the, uh, the pot, under the pot. And the red is coming from the red soil and the uh, island. These human figures represent a uh, spirit per human on the boat. And we call this eyes of the Tatala. This can, this can represent a uh, uh, boat uh, right direction back to the uh, village. Yeah, no, she moved